In the previous video, we have discussed about definition, functions and characteristics of a cell. In this video, we are going to discuss on the topic, the basic classification of a cell that is prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. So let's move on to our topic. First of all, we all know cell is widely known that each living organism is composed of a structural unit called cell. In biology, cell is defined as the basic membrane bound unit that contains the fundamental molecules of life and of which all living beings are composed. And the cells are classified into two types. One is prokaryotic cell and another is eukaryotic cell. The prokaryotes and eukaryotes are distinguished on the basis of their cellular characteristics. For example, prokaryotes lack of nucleus and other membrane bound structure known as organelles such as endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, etc. While eukaryotes have both nucleus and membrane bounded organelles. Let's look at the prokaryotic cell in detail. Prokaryotic cell, the word pro means before and karyotes means nucleus. Hence, it has no defined nucleus. Organisms with prokaryotic cell are known as prokaryotes. Prokaryotes are unicellular organisms and they are divided into two domains, archaea and bacteria. Organisms with nuclei and other organelles are placed in the third domain that is eukaryotes. The first organism is thought to have been prokaryotes. Prokaryotes are asexual, reproducing usually by binary fusion that is without the fusion of gametes. The prokaryotes are simpler and smaller than eukaryotes. The size of the prokaryotic cell is 1 to 10 nu meter. It has a cell membrane and one or more layers of additional protection from outside environment. Many prokaryotic cells have cell membrane made up of phospholipids and are enclosed by a cell wall made up of rigid sugars. The cell wall may be enclosed by another thick capsule made up of sugars. The prokaryotic cell have cilia and flagella which helps the movement of cell. The genetic material DNA is localized in a region called nucleoids which have no surrounding membranes. The cell contains large number of ribosomes that are used for protein synthesis. Multicellular forms are rare in this type of cells. Prokaryotes is a unicellular organism that lack a membrane bound nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum or any other membrane bound organelles. And all the intracellular water soluble components protein, DNA and metabolites are located in the cytoplasm enclosed by the cell membrane rather than in separate cellular compartments. Eukaryotic cell. The word U means true and karyotes means nucleus. Hence, this type of cell contains nucleus. Organisms with eukaryotic cells are known as eukaryotes. The size of the cell is about 10 to 100 nu meter. Eukaryotes are organisms whose cell contains nucleus enclosed within membranes unlike than prokaryotes. And eukaryotic cell typically contain other membrane bounded organelles such as mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, centriole, lysosome, ribosome, cytoplasm, cytoskeleton, chloroplast, etc. And all these organelles containing many other different functions to run up our body. Eukaryotic DNA is divided into several linear bundles called chromosomes and they are separated by nuclear division. A single unit of eukaryotic cell, cell grows, differentiate, multiply and give you a number of different specialized cells and then put together give you a tissue, organs, organ system and finally put together to a wonderful organisms like you and me and also other living organisms like plants and animals. The number of cells in plants and animals varies from species to species. It has been estimated that humans containing somewhere around 70 trillion cells or more than that. Our human brain accounts for 80 billion of these cells. Eukaryotes can reproduce both asexually through mitosis and sexually through meiosis and gamete fusion. In the next video, we will discuss 
about mitosis and meiosis in more detail and also the functions of membrane bounded organelles such as endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, gold cap apparatus, plasma membrane etc. So don't skip the next videos on our YouTube channel Shastra Look. Thank you.